as he gets out wide. Dialende, for some reason, was the uh, the chosen pass there. Reinach to Khaleesi. Gets it wide to Lacanya Am. He's got to go for the corner. What is going on, guys? It's the Mad Dragon. Welcome back to Rugby 22, where today I am embarking on a little bit of a fun journey. Now, when this game first came out about four months ago now, one of the big complaints that people said about this game was there was two things that were critically missing from this game, and that was the England team and the South African team. Now, they were the biggest ones that I saw. England had their kit redone. They changed from being yellow to being white. At least they look a little bit like the, the England team now. And the South African team was also missing from the game. Uh, all right, fair enough. They made it look a bit green. But, of course, the players actually, when we go into the team, you can see the players are a bunch of made-up names. They've got some made-up stats. They had to, of course, try and make it the best team. And people were a little bit annoyed about that because, let's be honest, they are currently still the world champions. They are the last winners of the World Cup. And to not have them in a game like this... Uh, was a real bit of a shame because I was really happy to see when they, they announced they had New Zealand in. We haven't got any of the New Zealand club level teams, unfortunately, but at least we have the international team. Now, in terms of today's video, I have been playing this game a lot. For anyone who's been watching the Italian series on the channel, I've been earning my packs. I have been having them all sort of pop up and stuff. I've been cracking them open as I've sort of been going along in my own spare time and basically realised there are a couple of the South African players in this game. Of course, you can see there, R.G. Sneeman, or Sneeman, I'm not going to butcher some pronunciations of names, um, of course, an actual Springbok player. And I began to look into it a little bit by basically going through all of the teams that are in this game, all of the club-level teams that actually exist in this game, and different players that play for them, some of them in the top 14, some of them, of course, in the United Rugby Championship. We have players from the Bulls, from the Sharks, and I believe there is enough players in there to genuinely make a South African team. So in today's video, I am going to go and attempt to get all of those players. We're going to make an official Springboks team. And then we'll see how many players we can get and see if it's possible to create maybe not a 23, but certainly see if we can get a starting 15 of the Springboks. And then once we've actually managed to make a team, we'll have a bit of a go, we'll play a game, we'll check it on Legendary, we'll play a bit of a fun match, and we will see how we get on. Now, I've actually got quite a few South African players already unlocked. There's still a couple more that I need trying to get in uh, in some packs and what have you. Uh, now, one thing that I have noticed is when you go into the cards that you own in this game, and you specifically want to look at the South African players, even though I have South African players that are in the Springbok squad already uh, unlocked, or I have them in cards, um, they don't actually seem to appear when you select specifically the South African. Now, I did try and uh, see what big team I can make. You'll see a couple of these 100 star players. That might be a video coming up in the future, a little bit of a spoiler alert there as to why I've got some of these super big players in 100. But you'll see none of these names are real Springbok players, even though I know for a fact that we've got them. So one thing I'm going to have to do now is actually go through, find all the different positions and actually see what sort of players we have and who we can actually find. Can I also say that the way to actually manually go through all these cards is awful. Someone really needs to have a look at this in Rugby <laughs> 22. These are really hard to sort of maneuver where you want to go. Look how many options there are. Um, so I've now taken off the actual spring box thing. And as you can see now, we will basically have a look at who we've got. So starting off here with the number eight, as you can see there, I do have Dwayne Vermeulen. He is there. He is in the number eight shirt. He is a Springbok. There is no uh, picture, unfortunately. Uh, but as you can see there, he does have the South African flag under him. So it's really weird why the filter doesn't find him. So what I'm going to have to do now is basically go through each of the different positions in the game, basically, and see who we can find where. Uh, I did think I also unlocked uh, a couple of Mapimpies. Uh, just before filming this video. So we've got Mapimpi in there. There's also a Cheslin Colby card as well. So I'm beginning to feel like I've actually got a few of them together and I can actually start to generate a bit of a team. Okay, in terms of the centers, uh, who is the Springbok center nowadays? It is Dialende and uh, Lacanya Am, isn't it? Now, I do have a Dialende card, which I think is already in one of my squads uh, from my created team. So I do already have... Damien Dialende, uh, I will need to try and find to see if I have a Lucania Am somewhere. 
And after I go through my swathe of Antoine Dupont's, I do actually have Herschel Yantes as well. I mean, in all honesty, I've got a bit of a nice little skeleton to generate here. So um, what I'll do is we'll go into the teams here and we will go through and we will basically pick one of the teams. I have four teams. Uh, this is I have a couple that I'm sort of using as my main ones. Uh, that's a bit of a sort of nothing team there. So what we'll do is we'll go into here and we will customize. Now, of course, we want to try and make a spring box team if we can. Okay, so I have basically in front of me, I'll uh, sort of check it on the screen maybe for you guys, the, basically the kit that I'm looking at now. So we've got to try and find one that's going to be closest to the actual spring box. So really we're looking for a lot of one color really. It's going to be this dark green color. In fact, you know what, let's do the color first because the color will probably be easier to do, uh, actually find. So we want to get, it's quite a dark green, not going to lie. <laughs> Are these two colors even different? <laughs> it feels like they're literally the same color. That feels a little bit ridiculous. I might even go for that one. Uh, feel free to drop down in the comments uh, about how bad my uh, my team kit picking is because I, I am going to try my best here, but I only have a limited amount of colours. In fact, let's go with that one. I feel I feel more comfortable about that one. So, in terms of a jersey, we're really after a large chunk of it to just be that green colour. And realistically, we're looking for only the colour more than anything to uh, try and be a bit of a different colour. Okay, I'm actually trying to mix this up a little bit. I think there may be a potential to make it a slightly better color, to have a dark green and then have a slightly different shade of green. In fact, it looks like it's slightly lighter across the rest of it, so real, uh, that's a bit too outrageous. I'm trying to find a slightly different green to try and give it some texture, is really what I'm after. So you can see there's a slightly two different greens in there, and then that way we can have the yellow color that they have. Now that yellow looks outrageous. It's a bit more of a goldy, orangey color. Hey, you know what? That's not terribly far off. That one seems a bit too bright. I think it's more towards the orange scale. That's too... I think I think we'll go with that one. Okay. So we've got a bit of an outlook for a kit. Unfortunately, no logos, which is a bit of a shame. Um, I really wish that was something you could do in this game was to actually um, try and enhance the shirt a bit. Maybe with some fake logos. Maybe with Rugby 22's own logos. Just to add a bit of variety and try and make it look a little bit more realistic. In terms of the shorts, uh, this is a really difficult uh, thing. They're just sort of white, in all honesty. I didn't realise the uh, the Springboks uh, shorts were quite so uh, bland, to be honest. I was quite surprised by that. So they're basically just all white. I'm trying to find more than anything. One that could be all white, but have a little bit of a logo on. I believe the Springboks do tend to have a uh, an actual Springbok logo sort of on the side of the shorts. Okay, so what if we went for something like that, but we actually made this bit also white? I mean, that's, that is sort of what it is. I mean, the, there's not really a lot to work with here. I might add that yellow in again, just because it's not really on the kit, but the kit is, in fact, the kit actually has genuinely got a bit of green. I've just noticed there is a tiny little bit of green right at the base of the uh, the shorts. It's not a ring necessarily quite like that one, but you know what, that's about as good as I'm gonna be able to do, unfortunately. I'm feeling a little bit more hopeful about socks. <laughs> I basically just need to find some stripes. That is stripes. That's exactly what I am looking for. Right. So we're going to need... Uh, the basic colours is going to need to be that same green that we've been using, which is one of these. We'll change the red to be that same green. And then we'll change that to be the yellow that we were using. What were we using? That sort of goldy one. You know what? That, that's not bad. That is not bad in terms of getting, uh, getting close to the short colour there either. And then the most important thing, I guess, trying to find something that looks a bit like the Springbox logo. Now, that is really tough to do. Now, that is a sideways creature with horns. I mean, that's a little bit like a Springbok. That would be more sort of face on, but at least it looks a bit more like an actual Springbok, I would say. There's nothing else really jumping out at me. There's that one. That's like two sort of rams jumping at each other. At least that's more of a jumping one. You know what? I'm going to keep it as that sort of basic one. Uh going to be quite difficult to try and make this look in any way like it. Again, very limited in terms of choice of what we can do, but obviously uh, we probably want to... I really wish, again, why does the logo of the team that you're creating not just appear on their shirt? You could just add it onto the shirt, make a really nice little uh, little bit of impact on there as well. Yeah, I feel it's got a bit more of a yellowy texture to it than the, than the sort of gold texture, maybe. Um, it definitely looks different compared to the shirt, so I'm going to go for... Oh, that one's a bit more vibrant. There we go. In fact, let's go for that one. That, that, that looks look, look a little bit more interesting. So there we go, guys. That's going to be our logo. That is going to be our team. So now we've got to go in and add all the players that I've managed to find into the team. Okay, Nia Kane, in you go. Ebenezer Beth, get in the team. 
Of course, we've got to have a bit of Dwayne Vermeulen in the team. And then we've also got Mapimpi and Cheslin Colby, the man who was on the face of the game. <laughs> the main person on the front of the box. So when this game got released, he wasn't even in the game. How absolutely outrageous. Let's add in Cheslin Colby. Alrighty, guys, I have put the team together. So we will jump in. There is our uh, Springbox team. Unfortunately, we can't name them the Springbox, which is a shame. It's just my game attack. Pretty standard. So, uh, in fact, let's have a look at just see how, in comparison how close we got to uh, what Rugby 22 came up with. Uh, they've obviously gone for a slightly different shade of green in the kit. Uh, their collar, they went for the yellow. It's a good move. I've got a bit of yellow on the, on the arms, which, I, you know, I kind of try to avoid, but I think the... The shirt over. You know what? They've actually got a logo on their player. I want a logo on my player. Why can my logo not appear on my player's shirts? How stupid. Uh, in terms of the shorts, yeah, we both went for the white shorts. I've got a bit of a green trim. I think they missed a little bit of a trick there. And the socks. You know what? I think I won the sock battle, guys. I think we managed to do that. Uh, this could be quite fun, actually. We could even just do Springbok versus Springbok. Let's do... <laughs> Our created Springbox team versus what Rugby 22 came up with. I will, of course, go through the team with you. Uh, I have done a bit of fusion on some of the players to try and boost their points a little bit. Although the team is rated 74 at the minute, that's probably down to the team chemistry uh, not being very built there. As you can see, they've all got the uh, the red arrows and stuff uh, joining the player stuff. But we have got a uh, pretty full front row there. Ox and Che, Nia Kane in there. Uh, Ebenezerbeth, uh, Sneeman. Uh, now, I know hasn't really played last year. I didn't really see a lot of Sneeman, but I know he has got caps as a springbok. He was the best lock we could find. There are a couple of people missing in the likes of people like Lou Diega and different people that can play lock and flanker position. So, um, unfortunately, there's a couple of people just not getting in there, but all these people do have caps with the springboks. Khaleesi, of course, the captain, uh, needing to start off there on that. 96. Look at his, some of his stats looking very, very nice. Uh, Elstad, now again, uh, yeah, flankers were a bit of an issue. I couldn't find another flanker. I looked everywhere for yeah, people like Quagga Smith, all these sorts of people. They just don't exist in this game. They play for different teams, a lot of them playing in Japan, which was a shame. But I know Elstad has actually got a couple of caps with the Springboks, so I've added him in. It's probably the only one that's a bit like, oh, you know, maybe, maybe not full on Springbok, but. Please, please give me for granted. It's been quite hard to put this together. Dwayne Vermeulen in number eight. Uh, Kobus Reinach in that number nine shirt in the scrum half. Andre Pollard on that fly half shirt. Mpimpi on the left wing where he belongs. Damien Dialende in the centre. Partnered up with Lacanya Am. Uh, performing very well together in the real world. Cheslin Colby takes over his right wing. And Damien Vlebser in that full back position. We do also have a couple of, of subs. People like uh, Stephen Kitschoff who do actually play, of course, that Springboks team. A couple, unfortunately, there just aren't enough players to make a 23-man squad. Uh, but we do have a couple more people in the back there, including the likes of Mornay Stain to be a replacement. Fly Half, for some reason, can't come in any other presenter. Only Fly Half, which is a bit of a shame. And Herschel Yantes. And I've just noticed Herschel Yantes is actually rated slightly higher than uh, Kobus Reinach, which is interesting. I personally prefer Kobus Reinach over him. Uh, but that's a lot of fun. So we'll chuck on a game for a five-minute game just to add it into the end of this video just to see how we get on. So let's get this game kicked off and underway. Alrighty, here we are guys, the Springboks versus South Africa. Now, uh, I literally just went to kick off the last game and my game crashed, so I'm gonna guess that Rugby22 is so scared of my amazing Springboks team, there they are, that it decided to crash the game to not let me play this game. So I've gone back quickly, uh, I've had to reset everything, so we've gone all the way back now, this is the same game kicking off, uh, but I have changed our name now to The Champions, because technically, you know, Springboks, they are currently the world champions, so, you know what, I, I thought it's a fitting name, you can't choose a name, you can't type in your own name, unfortunately, so... That is what we can do. So we've got a few uh, white flags in the background there. No South African flags for whatever reason. And Sia Khaleesi's going to kick us off. Why is Sia Khaleesi kicking us off? Well, Rugby22, for whatever reason, coded into this game that the captain of your team is the one who kicks off. And the Kanyaram <laughs> starts off with a uh, beautiful little clothesline just to begin with. Beautiful. Uh, so we've got a yellow card straight away. So it's going to be a bit of a test. Not going to lie. <laughs> before we've even got so started in this game. Okay, let's see where they're going to go. They're going to go to the back. We've got a couple of big boys in this lineup. People like Eben Atzabeth. Dwayne Vermeulen should be good. Kobus Reinach takes in Oxen Shea, getting it to ground there. Right, let's spread this attack a little bit wide. Um, you know what? I actually want to uh, change some of my 
presets as well, because I feel like my team is awfully close together here. Right, near Kane takes it in, takes two men with him, which is nice. Oh, and they managed to the commit a foul. Hands in the ruck. Now, we know South Africa like their penalties. Should we live up to the South African standard of always going for those uh, that cheeky three points? Let's give it a go. Let's uh, start off, go for some long-range kicking. Let's see if Andre Pollard's got the legs in this game. It's looking good. Oh, sweet as you like. Look at that, Andre Pollard with a beautiful three points within the first five minutes. That was all he wants. We've got to take down that yellow card clock a little bit till we can at least get Lucan Yaram back, back on the side. Okay, let's see uh, how he can try and defend a little bit here. Still a man down. Come on, Springbok team. Let's go. Kobus Reinach. Uh, oh, that's not what we want. Good tackle in the centre, though. We managed to just about recover that one. Let's uh, let my hooker take charge of that one. That's looking good. Yes, it is. Right, here we go. Reinach gets it out to Cheslin. Colby. We know the speed of Colby. Ooh, got some cheeky dancing feet in there. Let's go for a box kick. Let's put some big pressure on them now. They've got to try and chase this down. Um, I'm going to actually switch my preset there as well. I feel like my... Uh, my defensive line is all over the place. Right, Cheslin Colby running across the field in a dangerous manner. El Stad to Andre Pollard. Oh, we've had uh, Lacanyaram come back on the pitch now. Right, Le Pimpi. Oh, not managing to get any room there. Now, their team is uh, rated uh, quite a lot higher than mine. I can't remember if I've actually mentioned that yet. Uh, they are, I think they're 92. Uh, we are 74. <laughs> because, of course, I've got a bit of a bare bones team just sort of being put together for the sake of making this video. Uh, so we might find a little bit of a struggle to get going here, but we'll see how we get on. Ebenet Sabeth, can he get the hands? Yes, he can. To Cheslin Colby. Let's see. Oh, referee. How did he get back for that there? That was questionable. Come on. Let's see if we can get this back out wide. El Stad to Khaleesi, the captain. Takes it straight into that center. Here we go, Andre Pollard. Out to Steeman. <laughs> well, what's happened here? It's opened up <laughs> for Steeman, who goes 50 meters. It's not too often you get to see a lock run the length of the pitch. The big beard on him, though, making some good pace. Um, I mean, hey, fair play. If it works, it works. We did have the so Pimpy on the outside if we desperately needed him. Uh, now, the boot of Andre Pollard treating as well so far. Treated South Africa well in the World Cup as well. Let's see if we can keep that streak going. Looking good. Andre Pollard's kicking up to scratch. 10-0. Up we go as they take... It's quite a... Uh, oh, that's a really brutal kick. They got that right on that 10-meter line there. Good tackle there from the try scorer. Let's just try and set up this defensive line a little bit there. That's a great tackle. That We were all over him then. Right, Reinach finding some room potentially near Kane. Trying to back up the uh, the scrum half there. Doesn't manage to work as they pass up the inside. We managed to get in there. Reinach offload to Etzbeth. Oh, just couldn't get it one more. To get to Mapimpi, a lot of work to do there. Oh, he's so isolated. Why does it feel like my players are so far away? Look how far back my players are. We're like 20 meters away. Come up, guys. <laughs> Move up the field a little bit. How do I get them to stand forward? This is ridiculous. Right, let's see if we can just support him in there. Another hands in the ruck. I mean, I know it's half time. Uh, do we go for another kick? I don't know if that's in Andre Pollard's range. Oh, I accidentally press scrum so screw that idea <laughs> but the Springboks are you know the kings of scrummaging really at the minute uh, in terms of the world rugby they're looking very very good so another run with taking a scrum here we'll just let this set back here we go okay we've got to have a bit of room off to the right here Rynak's going to take this up Andre Pollard gets it out to Lacanuam off to Cheslin Colby here we go a big up and under for Cheslin Colby to chase can he stay under his own ball? It's good supporting run. Oh, doesn't manage to get there, though. They're going to go for a wild clearing kick here. Let's see if we can get uh, Damien back there. Yes, we can. Good little run here. Out to Sneeman, to Vermeulen, to Oxen Trey, the big boy. Manages to get a few extra meters. I really should have ended this half a little while ago, but I'm having a lot of fun with my new Springbox team. Come on, boys, get in there. Doesn't work out. Sharp thinking for that pass. That's a good, that's good cover to be fair. Right, here we go. See a Khaleesi. Oh, that was a bit of a rubbish pass. Not going to lie, boys. Come on, get in. Where is my team? <laughs> of course, I uh, I didn't really build the team cohesion. Probably should have done. Probably should have spent a few uh, few games just building this uh, 
this team cohesion up a little bit just so that they uh, they obviously work a little bit better together. But it's not what we want to do, right? Oxen Trey, big pass to Mapimpi for the corner. Who doesn't score? <laughs> <laughs> what, what sort of glitch is that? I don't think I've ever seen that in this game before. How on earth did Mapimpi put the ball down and start celebrating, but not actually get that try? Absolutely outrageous. Right, we've got a couple of uh, markers there changing to green. That's always nice to see. Um, I think for now we might leave the team just for the second. We might let it get towards that 60-minute marker, and uh, we'll see how we get on. That is absolutely pinpoint perfect as well well done to Nia Kane getting on the end of that one right Andre Pollard let's put that back at the field a little bit let's put them under pressure that could be a 50-22 that is a beautiful bounce look at that thing that was absolutely in the corner well we know what has to be done here go to the forwards throw Etzebeth in there we're always going to make them work for it and then bang this is the classic thing that we see from that South Africa team, just how good they are at using those forwards. As the captain, Sia Khaleesi, goes over for a try. A beautiful little mauling try there. We'll watch that one again uh, as people teleport <laughs> into place. This game still got some fun glitches. Um, it was a good pickup from the back. I believe it was Dwayne Vermeulen that actually got it. Uh, now, Sia Khaleesi is actually sort of more towards the front there. Takes it towards the back and gets it over. But, of course, Rugby 22 doesn't want to show us that. So... We're doing pretty well at the minute, guys. Not going to lie. 15 nil. 15 nil is pretty good. Let's see if we can just get that to curve in. Change that to 17 nil. The Springboks team is looking good. They, these kicks are awesome. These are like right on that five meter, on that 10 meter line of where they're allowed to kick to. It's really nice to see. But that one fell a little bit too short. We'll go for a scrum here. The first scrum worked well. I actually think for this one, we might let the number eight pick it up at the back and try and run it into, uh, into some dangerous positions here. Bind. Set. Okay, let's see if we can pop this back and then boom, out of nowhere here. Dwayne Vermeulen getting a big run. Here we go. Oh, can he get the offload to Andre Pollard? Manages to do well to get a few side steps in there. Cobus Reinach. Oh, a little bit of a forward pass. Mapimpi, the try went absolutely begging there. We'll go into another scrum. However, the scrums have been working pretty well for us so far. Let's see if this goes okay for us. Bind. Set. Go on, boys. Big hits. Get in there. Put pressure on. The Springboks team got to live up to the scrum hype in the real world. South African team, they're looking good, to be honest. We're looking good. Okay, we're going to go again. Dwayne Vermeulen with a little spin. As he gets out wide, Dialende, for some reason, was the uh, the chosen pass there. Reinach to Khaleesi. Gets it wide to Lacanya Am. He's got to go for the corner. Can he get there? Oh, look at that. No one stopping Lacanya Ram. There's a reason that people talk about him being the best center in the world. And well, when you've got a man who can just charge on like that, you sort of understand why. Let's uh, just see this again. I have no doubt Rugby 22 will cut this off. There was a nice run there from Khaleesi. Gets that ball in, managing to get towards that corner. Took the hit like a champ. And then reached over for so that try. We're doing pretty well here. In fact, let's do a couple of substitutions. Um, where does Kitchoff play? Is he... I've got a feeling he's... Is he a loose head or a tight head? I think he's loose head, Kitchoff. Uh, forgive me for not knowing everything about the New Zealand, uh, the South African team, rather. Um, there's a couple of things I'm still not 100% sure of. Um, so we'll check uh, Herschel Yanti's on there. And we'll take Andre Pollard off. And we'll put on... Mornay Stain. Let's reinforce our Springboks team with a few more Springboks. Let's see if Andre Pala can get a nice little kick just to finish off his time on the field. Looks good. Looks absolutely beautiful, to be honest. We will go 24-0 up. The beautiful ginger hair of Stephen Kitchoff coming onto the field here. Right. Valencia. Here we go. Let's see if we get a nice little up and under. Damien Dialende is chasing after that like anything. Beautiful pick up. Let's put them under more pressure now. Herschel Yantes will put this down in the corner. Look at this kick again. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, that might go straight out. Yes, it does. Oh, that's nice there. No one back here. We'll take that for a little line out there. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, the uh, the Yankees brothers uh, not going to be in the, at the same time. I know they, they do like to have uh, Herschel and Elton on at the same time. Unfortunately, uh, I haven't managed to get both of them in the team. <laughs> this video took a long time to get around to making. 
So there's a lot of things that uh, had to happen, but unfortunately we didn't manage to get all of the uh, Springboks players. Dialende gets it out to Yantes, doesn't manage to get round here. Right, big move here, former Pimpy. Oh, just gets through the tackle. Unfortunately, my forwards just abandoned him yet again for some reason. My, uh, my team cohesion just not working well. Beautiful, we've managed to actually put an injury in there. The Springboks tackle hard, we know this. As Chesling Colby gets across for a beautiful tackle. It's going to be a lot of work now for the hooker. Got to go the length of the field. Beautiful little outside pass. Doesn't manage to let Cheslin Colby get the room that he needed to. But we will take it nonetheless. Right, let's try and move this to the back. We can see where they're going here. We've still got those big boys. Let's see if we can get this across. Bang. Off to Mornay Stain to Damien Dialende. Oh, doesn't manage to get the pass. If we can go quickly, though, there's a chance. Lacanya and to Mapimpi. Oh, got taken down right at the end there. Uh, have we got any set plays that will help us? Let's try this thing. <laughs> Why not? Let's mix it up. Here we go. One there. Oh, he doesn't manage to get across there. Come on. Dwayne Vermeulen taking it up to the line here. Here we go. Herschel Yantes, as we see. Cheslin Colby going the length. Got a bit of work to do here. Oh, the little sidestep of Cheslin Colby. He'll run it all the way under the post. We know how good Cheslin Colby is in real life at those side steps. And yet, Rugby 22 still didn't add him into the game straight away, which is <laughs> always a bit of a surprise. But a beautiful run, side step from Colby. We saw him do that in the World Cup so many times. Those beautiful side steps just put them under pressure. And Mornay Stain, the man who has, of course, got the big boot in the game of rugby. I have no doubt we'll probably find this one a little bit easy for him. Beautiful to see him get that over. So, the Springboks team manages to beat the Rugby 22 team pretty significantly, to be fair. 31-0. That looked pretty good to me. Um, but there we are, guys. That is going to be the video for today. Hopefully, you have enjoyed this video. It took an awfully long time to try and find all the players, buy packs, go through the campaign, try and purchase the players that way. It took a long time to do. So, if you have enjoyed this one, you enjoyed seeing the Springboks team in Rugby 22, make sure you drop this video a like and to keep up to date with all of the Rugby 22 news as well as some of the real world news when we get around to do some of the summer internationals. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel just to keep up to date when all the latest videos come out on the channel. I will see you all next time, guys. Bye bye.